Three, two, one. Hello, every dear, and welcome to episode 37 of our Pokemon Diamond Let's Play. Last time, we took on about half of Team Galactic Space by going through their security room, but now it's time for the main event, going through their main base. Um, we're kind of coming to the end of the villain plot of this game, I think, I hope. Uh, not to say that it's been a bad plot, but I don't know why I said I hope. I'm just, I just, I just think, I just think, I think therefore I am. Um, if we look at the team right now, we have Chompy, the Carnivine, Bell, the Bronzong, Monkey, the Infernape, Big Bird, the Staraptor, Subpolaris, the Luminion, and Everest, the Snowver. Everest is still catching up to the team. We are a bit underleveled, I think, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be battling some admins in here, and they are a bit scary. They're not totally scary, though, so we should be fine, hopefully, I hope. Uh, let's just jump into it, I guess. Um, I think we can just casually walk through here, because we've got the key. The door open. We're good to go. Okay. I don't know how many battles are going to be in here. I'm going to assume quite a bit. Ooh, we can choose to be a double or single. I want to do a double. Just, I kind of prefer double battles. They're just faster, I guess. And I want to get through this. I would like to get through it in one time. Like, one episode. Hopefully, if it takes more than an hour to get through this space, they've made it too long. I assume, like, the remainder of this game is probably just going to be setting up for... This episode we're probably going to be setting up to fight um, the boss and whatever. And then... Ooh, okay, so Bell is perfect, but Carnivine does not work well here. I'm going to go into Big Bird. And then I'm going to extra sensory the one on the right. This should be a lot of XP actually, which is pretty good. We are gonna get the Intimidate off. That was why I went into Big Bird. It was all strategy. I didn't just remember that we had Intimidate on Big Bird. It's all strategy. All part all part of the plan. Who just dodged the attack? Was that, that better have been Wow, that did a lot. Okay, that was a crit. Okay. They just dodged our attack! Oh, you're gonna you're gonna pay for that one. Yes, you are. Okay. Nope. Wait. Then it said an attack missed, right? Or am I I'm recording this immediately after the last one, so I might be a bit tired. Question of the day! We need a question of the day. I kinda said there was gonna be a question of the day last time, but um I'm gonna come up with I wanna come up with a new, unique one, because I've been a bit actually I have been doing some pretty unique ones recently, I think. Um, the question of the day today is going to be, what is your, what would you change about Evil Team Base? Um, what would you like to see that's new in an Evil Team Base? Because sometimes the Evil Team Base has come up with new stuff, but normally they kind of just got the basic problems of repeated um, bad guys or repeated bad guys, the warp panels. X and Y had those spinny things. That makes sense. Um, is there anything new you'd like to see in it? If I had to come up with something off the top of my head, I'd kind of, I'd mentioned this in the last episode, I'd like to see an option to join the evil team. Um, like two different endings in the game, the good ending and the evil ending. One where you join the evil team and you take over the world and then you fight the champion of the Elite Four, like, as the villain, and they're trying to defend the region. Or a, this might be a bit more than just the evil team final base, but I'm gonna say it anyway. But I'd like to just see an option of joining the evil team. And it would add a bit more replayability. I love playing two Pokemon games again and again because I use very different teams. But I know a lot of people play for it once and then don't play it for it again, and that's fine. If different people enjoy games in different ways. But it might be fun, like, add a bit more playability. Because people have complained about Pokemon being a bit formulaic. And I can understand that. But maybe if this was added, then. Ooh, Everest goes to level 38. Very nice. Then more people could replay the game again and again, and also it'll be something new and unique. But that's just my idea. If you have anything, I'd love to hear it. Okay, I'm gonna find the Silcoon, and then... I'm gonna... Flash Cannon it, because that's the most damage I think I can do. I don't know if this thing is Poison type yet. No, because Silcoon doesn't evolve into a Poison type. It evolves into a... Bite? No, no, Bite. Bug, bug Flying, but it's just pure bug right now. Wow, um, Bell's just gonna actually just one-shot her right there. 
which is very impressive. Well done, Bell. We don't get too much XP though. Everest is going to gain most of the XP. What is my rush, Team Galactic Grunt? What is my rush? Okay, um... There's a lot of warp panels this way. Wow, there's a, just a lot of warp panels in general. Do you use Kadabra, I think? Oh yeah, you use Kadabra. I'm gonna app Kadab you out of this world. It's not gonna be Kadabra. It is a Kadabra! Okay, we're fine. Okay. Chompy is ready for this. Chompy's been training their entire life for this moment. It might be a bit of a stretch. You can't disable us if we haven't done the move yet, idiot. <laughs> that crunch just seems devastating. I haven't really noticed that before. Rocks just fly off. There weren't any rocks around. We summoned the rocks and just shot them out without even hitting a cadaver. Just to add that intimidation factor. I guess if anything is in has an intimidating crunch, it's going to be the Venus Flytrap Pokemon. I mean, intimidating isn't exactly how I would describe Carnivine. Okay, I want to explore all of this. Ooh, this is where we heal, right? If yeah, that's where we heal, I feel like that's just an obvious thing. This is where you go to progress. Might be wrong, this is going to be the Team Plasma motto. Um, Team Galactic. Team Plasma is a different name. This also feels like an obvious progression. Oh yes! See, this is why you explore. For a singular max revive. At least I'm not doing a Nuzlocke and it's useless. It's just a regular let's go. So we're doing well. Um, there's a lot of running just for max revive though. I don't know if you get a Master Ball. I think you get a Master Ball until Gen 8, like before the final boss. Is that like, come on, there's gotta be items. Give me, give me an item. No, okay, I guess that was useless. Oh wait, can I actually interact with those boxes? I need to know. No, I can't. That's fine though. It's totally cool. So now we progress. I'm not gonna... Do I wanna look at the TV actually? I'm gonna look at it just kind of simply. Side glance. Like, there's no commitment with this look. Oh no. I'm not even going to read this, because I don't like these very, very long um, things. Gravel's holding an Everstone. Ha ha ha, they, they were scratched, yes. Comedy. That was a bit snarky for me, I'm sorry. So we know this is definitely the right way. We to give us a healing spot so early, we've only had like two or three battles so far. Anyway, fight me. I do like this kind of options for double battles, you don't really see that in later games. Big fan of that. Oh, we're famous! Oh, we're that rebel! Not, not a rebel, but we're the guy who comes in and takes you out. I love how just in every single Pokemon game, it's the ten-year-old kid who just destroys this group of adults. If you think about it, they're all adults. We're ten. If they want to just, you know, pick us up and throw us out of window, nothing's really stopping them. Um, we are very outmatched in this fight, Chompy. So I'm gonna go mm, Big Bird again. I don't want to go Subclaris. I think I have dry skin, so I'm gonna go Big Bird. And then I'm going to extra sensory the Krogan. I actually don't think- I used to think we were a bit under level, but it looks like a bit over leveled on this tier. So I don't know. Maybe the Elite Four aren't going to be mid-60s. We'll probably have to- I'm probably still going to grind to 60. At least. Okay, again, a Night Slash. Big Bird, that's good. I'm fine with having Big Bird. Uh, Down goes Krogan, because this thing is not taking that hit. We are five levels above them. Yep, bye. Maybe I should have healed after the bed. I might do that afterwards. Because Big Bird's actually been a bit hurt here. We don't know when we're going to get a boss battle. 
Although we're kind of scared to have a sleep. Like normally, if you faint, you go back to a Pokemon Center. What if you faint and you just wake up back in the evil base? That's just stressful. Okay, both of these are dark types, so Bell cannot stay in. I'm going to return the one on the right to bed and go into. Ooh, that poison house. I can't really go into Everest, which is a bit annoying. We're gonna send out Monkey. We're gonna have that original duo who stayed for so long, just these two, out together again. This thing's gone. It's not taking that hit. Yep. Bye. This is a lot of our team that's been used. Everything apart from Subpolaris and um, Everest. Everest has not had a battle yet, but they're actually, they're actually in the right level range to have a battle at this point. If you think about it, because they're all, this is all mid 30s and Everest is like 38. So I might once Chompy gets to level 40. For Everest that fun. Okay, so I'm going to um, return into the Stunky and. Okay, that, that messed. Uh, close Combat and Rock Climb switched places. That messed me up. And then I'm going. Actually, no, 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 that's not the right. That's not the right call. I'm going to fly into the Kogon and I'm going to Close Combat into the Stunky. Oh, Monkey's faster than. Um, Big Bird, that's interesting. And, yep, Sunk is gonna go straight down. We are gonna have our defense and special defense lowered, but I think we're gonna be fine, because that Kogunk is only level 36, and we are 40s. Everyone's getting XP. Bye bye, Big Bird. Kogunk is going to mud bomb. Ooh, that's actually a good call. Okay, well, I can I can see that. I respect that. Still not enough though. It's gonna lower accuracy. You love lower accuracy here, don't you? Oh wow, okay. So I can feel a bit like you have a lot of Pokemon. Is that six on both sides or nope. We've only knocked out three, I'm just not very smart. Okay, close combat into the Grammy out and Um Close combat into the Grammy out, and what else? Hopefully Staraptor takes out that Kogun, right now, before it can take out my monkey. Come on, come on Staraptor. You can do this. I believe in you. You can do this. After everyone gets their XP. Yes! Kogun is not taking that hit. Down it goes. Okay. And everyone gets XP again. I don't know how far away we... Actually, we're getting so little XP. It doesn't... It makes sense that we're not leveling up at all. I'm sorry for ruining your promotion. Okay, can I heal up in these beds? Why are there two? This just, seem, just seems like a weird place to have a bed. It's just weird, like, imagine a Team Galactic gun walking around like, why is this 10-year-old child asleep in our bed? And they know who we are, so, so they're probably thinking, why is this 10-year-old child who's a threat to our entire organization, as we're about to end the world, asleep in these beds? Oh, so we got some options. Okay, so it's never the first one. It's gonna be the one in the middle. Okay. You. Really? Okay. It's gonna be the one in the middle is the one that we progress with. That's my theory. No way, that's that's I think the boss right there. So I was wrong. I don't want to take on the boss quite yet. Yeah, this is where we wanna be. Give me the Master Ball. Actually, you know what, I'll take that, and Lex is pretty good. I told you there would be secret items in this game. I'm just that good, I guess. kind of want to check these tables. Is there anything? That's our third rare candy. This just means grinding before the Elite Four is going to be slightly easier. 
I'm very proud of myself there. Okay, um... I think I defeated all of you. Yeah. I guess, um... This looks like the final boss of this place, so I'm gonna put... Um... Hmm... If I'm gonna use poison type... Do I wanna lead with Bell? I'm gonna lead with Big Bird. Yeah, that seems like a right call. At least I think this is the boss. Hello there. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. Foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although, I'd hardly expect to see that the trainer's a mere child. I'd heard that our commander's had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. So, you can see Mesprit and Azelf, correct? You want to save them? I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. So you do care about them. It'll save me the trouble of disposing of them, but I must say, you're a remarkable specimen. Thank you. These Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Actually, I want to just progress in the game. Such pitiful, useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You're compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. So he just said, I don't care what you do with them. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you first. Cyrus, did I already know that was his name? Bird. Bird fight. Technically it's a dog fight if you think about it. Level 40. Okay. We're a bit under level, but we should be able to do this because we're built different. Okay, um, this thing is a flying type, so I'm gonna go in straight for the return. It's a Murkrow, I don't see it being too much of a threat. Yep, one down. Sneasel, I'm just gonna stay in again. I'm just going to close combat this thing and then let something else finish their last Pokemon. Oh no, quick attack! Level 43, actually! Good thing Big Bud is a, is a threat. Down goes the Sneasel. It's not taking that hit. Bye, Sneasel. Okay, we are going to lower our defense to special defense, but Big Bud's taking out... I think they have three Pokemon. I like this battle theme. Go back. Okay. Um. I mean. Okay, so Sneasel was the ace. My last Pokemon. Cool. Thanks. I can see that. We're good. You don't need to explain that all to me. Um. I'm gonna go in with Bell. Bell should be able to easily defeat this thing. Yes. Okay. Cool. Use extra sensory. They're gonna supersonic again. Okay, that's fine. Are we already almost done with this whole facility? Are oh, we gonna hurt ourselves in confusion? Okay. That's gonna be super effective. Actually, it might not because steel might resist. Yeah, steel resists stuff. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, we're gonna hit ourselves in confusion again. Come on, Bell. You're really our best way to hurt this Crobat. They're gonna go for the flinches. No, that's their slash. We're fine. It's gonna flinch me anyway, isn't it? Come on. You hit yourself in confusion twice already. Don't do it a third time. Yes, Bell! Okay, Golbat isn't particularly bulky, especially, or physically, really. I just don't know. I'm okay with Pokemon's physical defenses, I'm just not good with their special defenses. I see. I may lose if this pace continues. Are you going to heal? Please don't. You have no moral backbone. Actually, you're the boss of an evil corporation. I should have t been able to tell you don't have a moral backbone. And anyway, it's not going to save you. I'm just going to use extra sensory again. Bye. See, 
are indeed strong, and the base of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. You love that word. Like, I've never used sentimentality before, and you used it twice. I stole that. I just realized I stole that line from the A Drive. Um, Renegade Platinum playthrough. I think Cyrus uses sentimentality twice in that as well. Um, yeah. I can't take credit for that line. But that doesn't matter! I doubt you will ever understand my position. They said I recognize that you are strong and courageous. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come along. This is your reward. Thanks, I'm gonna use that to ruin your plan later. Unlike two trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Okay, if Cyrus turned into a, like a Pokemon amalgamation, that would be pretty cool. Like a terrifying, um, not Enchida, um, what's it called? Chup not Chupacab. I don't remember. Um, if you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I'm off to Mount Coronet. Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where, where you and I first met. I will send the mountain to speak and put an end to everything. No, I'll bring about a new beginning for everything. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Um, which war panel were you talking about, my guy? Okay, um, let's save those Pokemon. Hi. Oh, this is cool. I like this place. I can't break with Team Galactic, but the experiment has gone too far. Oh, these are cool. Oh, I like this. This is horror vibes almost. I mean, it is a Pokemon game, but I like this. this, this I like this. This is. Cool. Can I? I can't turn this way. There we go. I can't say anything in our defense. That thing we made. What's it going to be used for? Destroying the world, I assume, because that's all Pokemon's plans. Yuxi, Mesprit. Azelf. These are suffering with the racking shudders. Oh wow, this is dark. I squeeze up and seems so suffering with tail twitching. Hey you, let these Pokemon go. You, you came all the way here just to save Pokemon? There was nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would we let a kid like you come and go freely? We team galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Okay, we can do this, buddy. If you want to, we can totally fight this out. I'm gonna go to Mount Corne after this and beat up your boss again. Just so you know. Like, I assume after this, we just go straight to Mount Corne. Corne, how do you pronounce it? But I mean, once we do that, Mount Corne is definitely where this game ends. Well, the main part ends. Could we do that in this episode? We've got, like, 45 minutes left. Not 45 minutes. 35 minutes left. We can at least get to the top of Mount Kone. Let's see how much we can do. That can be cool. Make some progress. Everest is going to gain a bit. Bonzor. Okay, um, I can't hit this thing super effectively. I've met my match. But you know what can hit this thing super effectively? A monkey! Hopefully this thing doesn't have heat proof and it has levitate instead. They're gonna go fix it. They predict me. How much is it gonna do? We do have two levels on it and it's not fully evolved. Why do you have none of them evolved there? One song. Like, one song just evolves to level up. And why is it a rock climber rock type move? It literally just has the name Rock in its... It has a rock in its name. So close. So close. Existential, we can take this. Actually at 120 HP exactly. Like, not now, but in total. That's pretty cool. That was a crit! Okay, this is gonna be a close one. Come on, use Flame Wheel! Don't miss. Thank you, Mom. Okay, down goes one Zor. That's pretty neat. That beating isn't though. 
I think everyone's been a level 38 or something. Toxic Croak. Okay, we definitely go into Bell for this. Most of so don't have to hear the beeping anymore. Okay, Bell. They're gonna break, break, that's neutral, and we're very bulky. So we should take this very well. Okay, maybe not. Come on, extra sensory. Oh wait, this might knock us out actually, because we want full HP. Okay, I didn't put it, come on, live it on one, live it on one. Okay, this might be a bit of a threat. Come on, big bird. Um, yeah, we got the Intimidate off that. That's good. We can hit this thing with Fly. We are faster. That's a benefit. And I don't think they're going to be running a Focus Sash. At least I hope not. That would be problematic. There we go. For some reason, um, Toxico having a focus session reminds me of One Punch Man. I think it's that cartoon where um, Wobbuff Wobb One Punch Man punches Wobbuffet, and Wobbuffet has a focus sash, and then does counter and blows up like half the universe. And then that, I'm running through my thought process of why I wasn't talking for a few seconds. Because the thing is that, um, yeah, what makes yourself tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those sleep Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Can I have them? Please? Yes. Hey guys! Oh wow, they're just, they're just gone! Our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is when he needs to shackle something on Mount Cornet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Okay, well, I gotta go and find out. Time to save the world. Because apparently Cynthia can't, even though she is an incredibly powerful trainer. Is there something right here? This feels weird that there's just... I shall laugh. Anyway, One Punch Man and Wobbuffet. It reminds me of this video I saw about the most powerful characters ever. And they said, so One Punch Man's creator said that he contains enough power to punch the universe in half. And then they said, and with our math, we figured out the amount of power you need to punch the universe in half is X insanely large number, and I didn't think about it. Then I scrolled down to the comments, and it just went, um, somebody said, how on earth did you calculate the exact number to punch the universe in half? Huh? How would you ever calculate that? And it's a very good point. Okay, um, I got some max repels last time, so we should be good to go through Mount Coronet. I hope. We're probably going to need to use Rock Climb to get up there, right? Um, okay, so, um... I'm just going to check. Also, those blockades in the base were kind of weird. We've got two Super Repels. Do we have any... Um... Max Repels, though? Yeah, we've got 30 Max... We're good! Um... I'm going to put Everest up front, because we're going to be going into a place with a rock and ground types, and Everest is a grass type. Okay, Big Bird use Fly, and we're going to go, because Mount Corner is right here. I don't know the exact spot they want us to enter it with, but we're going to enter just from Eternity, I think. We've got about half an hour left, so I don't know how much of this we're going to get through, but we can probably make a bit of progress in this area of the game. Hopefully. Oh, I can bike there. Why not? Bikes were invented for a reason. The reason was speed. I am going to use the max repels right now. Use. Speed is key, and also, just, we're not going to gain anything from... Actually, have I been down there yet? Yes. I would like to use Rock Smash. We don't get an encounter. Yeah, I must have been down here, because you're a trainer. 
Um, that's Chatot. Actually, I do know about Chatot. I'm a big, I'm a big, Ch I'm a Chatot stan. You could, you could say. Anything? Any secrets? No. Okay. Um, now I'm not clear about exactly how they want us to do this. To get there. Do we have strength on something on our team? We better. Okay, there's Team Galactic people here. I think we're good. I think we've chosen the right place to be. Ooh, Rock Polish! That's totally useless, but thank you. Okay, the spike is speed. Yeah, this is definitely the right place to be. Oh, yep, yeah, I keep forgetting. Um, hi. From this side. Oh, was it supposed to go from the Heart Home City side? Side. Oh, okay. Thank you, that's really nice of the game to say. There's no way to get up the mountain from this side. You need to go to Hot Home City. Um, okay. Hot Home City it is. Where's that? That's down here. This is Hot Home. Okay, I don't know how long it's going to take us to get to the peak. I'm going to miss playing this game, because I'm not going to be able to play it really again until next week. Because of the way I'm recording it. Okay, that's fine for now. I want to get through as much of this as possible. Okay, um, that's this way is the mountain. Okay, um... Yeah, there's a route and everything here. Okay, I'm going to go into the bag. If we have to use more than 30 max repels to get through this, I'm just going to be very angry. Okay. Already been through all- yeah, we've been through all of this. I guess- bet you need waterfall. Is that how we get to the top, huh? That seems like it. Yes, use rock climb. Oh, that's cool! Hi! You don't have anything up here, do you? That's a not- I- the world is about to be destroyed! My guy! Alexander, we have places to be! Oh, wait, is this gonna be Everest's first battle? Never mind, I can focus. We're gonna set up that hail, because Everest is good at setting up hail. Okay, use Ice Shard. Okay, we've got four levels on this thing. Okay. So we hit KO, how much is Wing Attack gonna do to us? How much is the Air Shutter gonna do to us, I mean? Not too much? Okay, we can take that. We can take that. Yeah, we take that. And the Golbats- Okay, so we should actually be able to knock it out this turn. Because it's buffed by Hail, because Hail is actually very useful when it's on our Pokemon. Come on, take them out, Everest. Destroy them. Your first kill. Yay, Everest, I'm so proud of you! You got a crit too! Solid chunk of XP there. I don't know what level you evolve if you need something special to evolve. I don't think so. And we can hit Graveler, and because of Hail, this thing's sturdy means nothing. Actually, it might allow it to take a hit. But let's wood hammer. We're gonna outspeed it. This is gonna... How much is the recoil going to do? It didn't have sturdy, though. We take him out in one go. That was quite a bit of recoil, but Everest, you're doing incredibly. I'm so proud of you. Look at Everest just destroying everything in front of them. Onyx, okay, I'm going to wood hammer this thing again. Everest, come on, you can do this. They've got slam, no! It's gonna miss! Everest just cannot be beat, apparently. Okay, and we take them out. How much is the recall gonna do though? We live. Because Everest is incredible. I'm actually am gonna look up if we need an item to evolve Snova. But I'm not gonna tell you 
unless it is an item that we need. Because I just don't want to wait for the extra time and then miss out on some good level up moves. Okay, so the way to evolve Snowbit is I'm not going to tell you. Because. Okay, I'm going to use Rock Smash because I think there's got to be an item right here. Really? That just feels like a waste of time. Um, I'm going to quickly heal up Snova. Good work, buddy. Proud of you. Bombs is going to be a huge threat on this team. Okay, so... I think it's this way? Admittedly, I have no idea how I'm meant to get up there. Having a repel is nice, though. It looks like we've got to use Surf. I'm going to assume we use it here? I'm going to have to use another one. But we've got quite a few. This item better be incredible. I guess I could use it, honestly. But since it's not a Nuzlocke, I don't really see the point. This definitely seems like the way. This is the way. Also, I'd have to go away from Max Repels to use it, so I'm not going to do that. Ooh, that's, that's a good pickup, though. So we're definitely in a new location now. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with the idea of hidden items. Yeah, we're not going to need that. Okay, so this is the way... There are so many items in here, it's incredible. Actually, that's a solid move. I always imagine competitive battlers going into places like this and, or just playing through Pokemon games and finding a move like as a HM or TM and thinking, "Man, I'm glad I found this." As they breed up their Pokemon. Okay, we're up to 07. Okay, um, I'm not gonna go down there because actually, I kind of want to see if there's anything special. I'm hoping I'm not going to mess this up. We should be able to climb back up. I'm not going any lower than this, like, a way that I'd have to go around. Okay, I'm glad I did this. Never mind, I'm not glad I did this. I feel like just, I get they're useful items for competitive, but most, I think I can safely say most people who play Pokemon aren't, like, hardcore competitive battlers who would use that. Especially not when you can buy them later on. Is this something? That just looks like it should be something. Maybe it's like a post-game thing. I don't know. Um, it's this way next. No trainers, which is nice. Just nice exploration. Revive, that's going to be useful. Well, hopefully we're not going to need to use it. But if we do, it's nice to have. Is there anything? I feel like there's an item. And I'm willing to check. Because why else would there be this? What did I say? What what did I say? That there would be an item? And was I right? Can you see I've played too much Pokemon? I don't wanna... Okay, um... We've already used five of these. Okay. I'm not gonna check every single rock, because I just feel like that's gonna take forever. And again, there is a bit of a time limit. I don't want to run too much over on this episode. This is a fun place to walk around though, I like all the levels. That's cool. Repels are great. I just feel like this was something though. Nope, okay. I said I wouldn't check every rock and then I proceed to... Okay fine, I'll stop, I'll stop. 
Okay, that's how you definitely progress. But is there any secrets down here? It's just so satisfying when you do find an item, though. Okay, I'm, I'm not... Oh, I need to check Zox now. Because, like, what if there is something? I might just have a problem. Um... No, we're good, okay. Time to start beating people up. Fight me. We're going to be assigned two noble jobs. One, ensure the success of our operation at the summit. Two, utterly destroy anyone who dares to interfere. Isn't two kind of part of number one? Because if you're trying to stop me from interfering... Right. Beautify, a flying type. This is perfect. I guess you know bug type moves that can hurt Snowbird, but... We don't need to talk about that. And we're going to be hurting you just naturally by existing in you. Okay, use Ice Shard. We're going to... Actually, I think Ice Shard is a priority one. I'm waiting until we get a move that... If we get Blizzard, that would be so good, because it would hit 100% of the time because of Snow Warning. Blizzard would be amazing. Okay, as long as we can take one hit from this thing. Can we take a silver wind? We should. We're not particularly bulky, but it's I mean it's a beautifly. Actually this thing is solid special attack. I might regret saying that. Wait, no! Okay, that was, that was close. But you know what, it's fine. Everest is doing great. We're gonna guarantee we knock it out this turn. Even if we get a low roll. No! I misclick! I just misclick! And I just buffed this thing's stats and let it make me fall in love. No! I did not just choke this battle. We can make a recovery. We can do this. This is fine. Land the ice shard. Everest, you're not in love. Love is temporary. The glory of us saving the world is forever. No. Everest. Okay, fine, fine. You want to seduce my Pokemon? I have ways around that. Actually, Everest I need to do a solid chunk of damage just by summoning the hill. Seduce this! Actually, it might work. We don't know. Let's see what Big Bird's preferences are here. Okay, they're not even going to try to seduce Big Bird. Because they know Big Bird's too far out of their league. And Big Bird is in a very committed relationship with a Swanner. That's canon now. Swanner's name is Beatrice. I've decided. That's what I'm going to name a Swanner if I ever get one. And canonically these two, they're in their partners. That's it, I've chosen it. This is canon now for this playthrough. I get to make the rules. I am the fandom. Agility. Big Bird, you've already got such an incredible moveset, we're not gonna learn agility. Like, your moveset is literally perfect. The only thing I would accept is, like, a setup move, like, bulk up. But if you don't bulk up, I'm pretty sure that'd be the perfect moveset. Okay, wait, let's heal, um... Where's the max survive we just got? We have two, I'm just gonna use it on wrist. Look at that. Full HP. You, fight me. A time has come, it's Team Galactic's time now. Like, nothing will stop you from having the time in your life just without destroying everything or whatever your plan is. It, I feel like it can't be a game, uh, plan just about time. Because, you know, Dialga. Like, Puffy also exists. But I don't know. Um, okay, this thing's gonna come in. We can't hurt it. Maybe leading with Everest isn't great if we're trying to go through this quickly. But we're gonna go into Monkey. Because Monkey is very good against this thing, provided it doesn't have heat proof. We are kind of banking on that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not gonna be annoying. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, we might have a problem. Um... Please don't be really annoying. I don't think they're gonna be able to knock me out, it's just gonna take a while. Um... How much do we do? Nothing! They're gonna set up future sites. Can you set up multiple future sites just like destroy people in a few turns? Honestly, that hill is gonna help because it's gonna help whittle down this incredibly buff bronze ore. Yeah, we're gonna get down in half. Hopefully, we get a high roll on flame wheel. I mean, a crit would be lovely right now. No, not quite. We're gonna have to hit it again. <gasps> no, we get the burn! The burn and hail is definitely going to knock this thing out. Oh yeah, Iron Defense isn't going to save you. No one can save you now, Bronzor. No one can save you now. Just don't use a Super Potion, please. And the burn's going to knock you out, because Monk is just that good. Everest is going to gain some XP, Monk is going to gain some XP. You're trying to do what? Oh yeah, yeah, we already had that conversation. Oh, oh we'll see about that. I'm gonna make a difference here. Um, I'm gonna put it back on because I wanna see what's that way. But I feel like we're definitely a bit closer now at least to, again, I don't know how long this is gonna be. Oh, that's the, that's the wrong way. I just pressed all the wrong buttons. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, there's nothing this way. I thought there was a way up, but I was wrong. This is probably a really good place to train. But I mean, I'm not gonna... Okay, that's the way inside. But this is just the way up. What? Oh, wait, this thing's gonna be higher than our... This is gonna be a level 40. Yeah, because... It's a chingling, so I'm not particularly stressed. But is this really the only place you can get Trimeco in this game? Really? This I'm gonna take this thing out and then I'm gonna put something else up front. It's a chingling, so I don't feel particularly stressed. But I mean Trimeco is not a good enough Pokemon. I'm sorry to um, warrant only being available this late. I think it's kind of a weird Pokemon if you think about it. I think we're gonna be buffeted by the hell. We did nothing actually. Can we run? Yeah, we gotta wait. Um, I'm gonna put someone else up front. Um, Pokemon. Um, they're level 40, so I'm gonna put Big Bud up front. Actually, I'm gonna put Bell up front. No, I'm gonna put Big Bud up front. Because I just don't want to encounter the place. Okay. I'm just so good. Okay. Um, I think we have to go back into the cave. Down we go again. That's kind of cool. That's like an avalanche. Um. Okay. Is this how we progress? I think so. I'm just a bit confused. Oh, yeah, this is definitely how we progress. I want to go the other way because I want to see how we don't progress. Okay, I get there were probably items in all those locations, but you just cannot be bothered to look at every single one of them. Because we're running out of time on this episode. Yep, I kind of thought that would be there. Okay, um... I'm gonna move this, just using all of the HMs today. We haven't used Cut in a very long time, though. Wow, this is... There's just so many different things i got to keep track of! Feels like one of those stress games. And the music is intense! 
Okay, please tell me that this is not how you progress. It's just the satisfaction I get from being able to predict when each one is. I do not have waterfall yet, I can guarantee that. Yeah, so we can't do anything here yet. Cool. Well, I'm glad I had that conversation. I think these are just for design. I'm not going to be bothered to check if there's items there. Okay, so there was nothing to gain from doing that. Okay, now we progress a bit further. I hope we don't need waterfall. Hi. Okay, I just lost the Wi-Fi connection, which doesn't matter for this. I'm just going to hope that we... I'm going to save the game after this battle, because I hope my computer doesn't crash and I lose 50 minutes of progress. I'm going to show you guys what saving looks like after this. Please don't crash. Wait, no one would have to lean over to do that. Okay, um, wow, this dust box is not going to survive very long. I'm pretty confident that we can just, you know, return and it's going to die. Actually, they're quite bulky, but we're six levels higher. It's a stab. Very good return because we haven't fainted in a long time. Yep. Bye-bye, dust dogs. If Everest's going to gain a bit. Another dust dox. Is it going to be level 35 again? <laughs> yep, so this thing's just going to go down to a 10. I love the little duck, duck, goose. It would have been if I had a face cam there because I punched my palm to try to portray Big Bud punching the opponent when they say goose. Which doesn't make sense because Big Bud is neither a duck nor a goose. No, I'm just gonna let Big Bud run rampant. Let me teach you why they call me Big Bud. Because I destroy everything in my path. Th that quote didn't work there. No! Do you have no dignity, Golbat? No dignity at all. Okay, we're not going to be able to finish this journey um, in this episode. I'm going to have to wait until next week to record that. Okay, Everest is going to gain a bit. Down goes the Galactic Grunt. Yeah! That's what it sounds like if people say that, if you didn't know. I'm gonna put Everest up front again. That music kind of fit perfectly with us doing that. Okay, fight me! Team Galactic is all powerful. Only a fool would show defiance for the mi mighty might of Team Galactic. I think that's what they said. Um, well then, call me a fool. Because you're really not that tough. Stunky, really? Of course, Stunky. Oh, they did a little head bop. I forgive you. How close are we there? Oh, we are so close to leveling up. Then Everest isn't going to be behind anymore. We are going to whip up the hailstorm, though. Um, how am I going to let deal with this? Uh, let's go Sub Polaris. Why not? We haven't used Sub Polaris too much this episode. I've got a real appreciation for this Pokemon. I, I like the Minion now. Top tier. Um, fish. I do kind of keep forgetting we have them on the team, though. But whenever they're doing something, they're doing their thing very well. Now you surf. Just. Gone. Nope, I guess not. But we hurt it. Well, they're just gonna memento. They're just gonna knock themselves out, I guess. I thought for a second. Oh. Oh, actually, we do attack physically, never mind. Everest goes to level 40, that's nice. Hail continues to fall. Okay. Golbat, I'm gonna switch out because. I don't know if you noticed. Um, oh, can I go into... I'm gonna go into Everest. Come on, Everest. You can do this. I believe in you. 
Please don't faint. Confuse me, okay. You're going to be fine. You're not going to hit yourself in confusion. You are above that, Everest. Literally, you're the highest mountain in the world. Okay, we're going to buffer the goal out with a hail. Do not hit yourself in confusion here. Use the ice shard and get out of there. Come on. You can do this. Do not hit yourself in confusion. Yes. Now one shot it. That might be asking for a bit too much, but I don't know what level you learn Avalanche. I'm pretty sure you learn it by level up though. Okay, we're going to be able to knock it out next time. Just live one hit. It's a mean look. And we use priority moves. Oh, I'm not locked in here with you, Golbat. You're locked in here with Everest and me. I messed up that line. Did you see Willy's Wonderland? I. Why do I keep clicking Swagger? No. This might knock us out. Can it stab? No, not. Oh no, we take it. Do not hit yourself in confusion, Everest. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, Willy's Wonderland is a very... It's a 2021 movie. I don't even know how to describe it. It's... You'll probably enjoy it. But I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons if you look at the genre. Okay, come on. Do not hit yourself in confusion. Do not hit yourself... Yes! Everest! That was intense. That was overly intense. For just a grunt battle. But we win, sucker. And Everest is going to level up. Well, we've already leveled up. The subclass is going to gain XP. EXP. Why don't we say XP? I think it is EXP. Okay, and the thing is, I kept secret. Stover evolves at level 40. Everest is evolving. The final evolution on the team. We are now a full team of six fully evolved beasts. There we go. Look, Everest is now in a bomber snow. Look at them. We didn't learn. We didn't learn anything new. But you know what? That's fine. Um, I need to heal up. We have max potions. That's gonna heal up quite a bit. And, okay, so, I don't know why I stopped talking there. Everest has actually become just a solid member of the team. Um, I can't wait to use them, but we're gonna put Subpolaris up front because now Subpolaris is, I'm pretty sure, the lowest member of the team. We can go a bit further. I made a mistake. I forgot about the wild Pokemon. I need to put someone else up front. So for last, please tell me you can run. Thank you. I love the running noise. Um... Bell, why not? There we go. What? I'm sorry? Well, we really on a high enough level. Did the max of Pell run out? Chingling, don't do this. Just let us leave. We don't want to have trouble. There we go. I'm gonna put Saraptor in front, I guess. Just because I don't have any interest in guiding against baby Pokemon. Okay. There's gotta be an item there. There's gotta be. Guess not. Okay, bag. I spell use. Okay, I, I might just go outside here. I feel like the thing. Okay, I feel like there's quite a bit more, and we can just finish it up in a like a nice little bow. Um, I guess we're using rock smash on this item with a nice little bow next time. So, because of that. 
Um, I'm gonna end it here because we're an hour into the episode, and there's just a lot we can do next time. So anyway, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a dogtastic day. I will see you all in the next one, and ODF out. Goodbye.